Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Quidelka. In our last video, I gained access to this area by unlocking the green door. I am exploring the area right now, got a potion in there. There's another potion here to the left of the door. You hear a young girl laughing softly. Suddenly, the furniture in the room starts to vibrate and space itself begins to twist. So a child's been annoying again and now she has decided to send her flying furniture to attack me. This is her dining room set and a set of floating chairs, so she's really pissed off. If you watch one of the earlier videos, I picked up this bunch of letters from a metal locker. Those letters act to find whether I fight Charlotte's ghost after this encounter. If I have the letters, I won't fight her. If I don't have them, then I would have had to defeat Charlotte's ghost. Switch to the bow gun for some damage.
Charlotte, do you know what these are? They're letters from your mother. My mother? Letters? There's so many! Did you know that your mother was a queen of Hanover? It seems that after you were born in secret, your mother was locked up inside Alden Castle. Even while she was imprisoned there, she sent many letters to you here in the monastery. She never laid eyes on you, but she often imagined what you looked like. She dreamt of the day when she would be able to see you. Her letters never got to you, and she was never told of your death, so she continued to write you letters even after you died. Your mother loved you, Charlotte. No, I can't, I can't take, take this now. Should she love me? me? No, no, no. no. It's, it's too scary. scary. Hey, I feel warm. What's, What's happening? happening? No, help me. No, I'm not gonna break you. Do you love me? I hate you. I hate you. Don't break me. You, you, you. Charlotte, how does it feel to know you are loved? How does it feel, Charlotte? Anyway, you get some panaceas and a high potion. Right in the middle of the room, there's an accessory that is a staple of all the Shadow Hearts games. It's the Flare Brooch. And it greatly increases your magic in this game. I'm going to give it to Edward because he seems to have the lowest magic right now, and I want Kadelka to have that pendant equipped that we talked on the last video. And the party has finally made its way to Patrick's quarters.
Here I'm going to use the disc that I got in the hallway. And a hidden drawer pops up with the research notes. Let's document that if you're interested in reading, also Google it, uh, Godelka uh, Research Notes. And the gist of it is that Patrick has obtained the immigrate document and is trying to revive his dead wife Elaine and in the process does some pretty bad things. He goes to the point of kidnapping women and locking them in this monastery and torturing them and using them in experiments to bring his wife back. It's a little long so that's why it's not in this video but uh, if you have some time I google it and it's something good to read. Uh, here is a boss fight, which I'm not going to do yet. I'm going to go back to the previous, uh, first to the second floor of the previous area to trigger an additional scene. In this area, I have the possibility now to unlock the door which grants me access back to the courtyard where Fidelka was fighting alone earlier. This door is locked. And this one here is held by some sort of mysterious force, which means I have to defeat the boss that I didn't fight earlier. Now I've unlocked that door that was on top of the stairs. Moving this statue will grant me access to a secret area. Somewhere? Well, what took you so long? Roger, the mummy I was in the coffin? Since when have you two been acquainted? I am no mummy! My name is Roger Bacon, and I'm just like any normal old man. Hey, I've been around for 20 years, and I have yet to run across an old man as abnormal as yourself. I see. Well, I've been around for 600 years, and I've seen plenty of abnormal people just like myself. My dear old man, might you be related to the great warlock Roger Bacon, who made such a name for himself in the 13th century? <laughs> you are very knowledgeable. Hmm. I am that warlock, Roger Bacon, you speak of. 
You mean to tell me that you were born in 1210 and have remained alive and well until the present date of 1898? Actually, to be precise, I was born in 1214. Who did? What type of a joke is this? That's my question. Well, this is no joke. I am the reputable Roger Bacon. Very well, then. If you were truly that Roger Bacon, then you'll be able to tell me with whom and where you studied. Oh, that's easy. I entered Oxford in 1247 and studied under the tutelage of Robert Grosteste. Although a good professor, I would not consider him to be a wise man. I penned my masterpiece, Opus Maius, as well as numerous other books on natural science. Being a visionary pioneer? Hmm. I must say that my work has influenced generations of work that followed. But alas, in hindsight, that work pales in comparison to the work I did copying the immigre document for the Pope. The immigre documents? I figured you would know about that book. Of course. It took me five years to copy the book in its entirety. I know everything there is to know about the what is it about? Oh, is it, it unravels the secrets of life that expand far beyond the largest field. It speaks of the secret rituals conducted by the ancient race of Fomors on immortality. The Fomors would claim the lives of the resurrected as their own. They reversed the laws of nature and the cycle of life. When the Druids took over the Celts, Alexander the Great penned the emigre documents in Greek for placement in the Great Library. Resurrecting the dead. Oh, it is true. The document has long been considered the most dangerous work of literature. It was safely guarded in the caverns of the Supreme Pontiff's quarters. But apparently, the book was not able to withstand the wares of time over generations. And the Pope decreed that a new edition be created by copying the full text. That is where I came in. The Pope requested that I copy the book word for word. And when the work was finished, apparently, I was supposed to be killed. <laughs> But I am not one to be dealt with so carelessly. I secretly escaped, and eventually I made my way to the sacred land referred to in the text of the immigre document. And the secret rituals? Uh, don't tell me. You need look no further than myself. And you succeeded. Hmm. Although I cannot perform the same on others, yes, I have been able to escape the hands of death. But I have not been able to escape the roots of existence, which are the seeds of change. My body is not immune to change, as you can see by my hideous appearance. I've had nothing to do other than roam the earth for the last 300 years. Dean, all I can take of mankind's cruelty. So, I returned here for some rest. <laughs> well, um, enough of this gossip. I've got some research to do. <laughs> May I ask to be left alone? It's time for me to save my game, say goodbye to you guys, and thank you so much for watching these videos. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.